of the Sopranos, uh, Dion Warwick, uh -huh. and many, many other great Was it people. Jersey City? Well, it was Jersey City. Uh, first it was Newark for me, and then it was Jersey City, and uh, that, wow. that, that, that's, the, that's where it all happened. What was it like in those days in Newark, New Jersey? It think? was great to be a doo-wop singer during that period of time, because uh, I think uh, from some of the movies uh, that, that were out about some of the oldies and different music from that period of time. It, that was when you you could walk the street corners, you could hear the, the groups during that period of time in the urban areas of Jersey City and Newark, sing on the street corners. Were you friendly friendly with a guy named Frankie Valley? I was, he's still my friend. It's been, we've been friends forever, Frankie. Yeah. How about some of the other people from the Four Seasons, some of the other guys? Well, I knew Nick, I, I knew all the Four Seasons, Bob Cody, oh, Nick and uh, Tamuch. Tamuch. So, yeah, we're all friends. And of course, from the, the Rascals, Eddie Brigatti. Eddie Brigatti, uh, Felix. Stayed friends with Felix for a long time when he formed his own group. Felix Cavalieri's and the Rascals. Mm -hmm. Too bad they couldn't get along and stay together, because they <laughs> would have been a great reunion group if they always able to uh, get together and sing some of that. Great but songs at the Rascals. It's, it's, it's interesting that most of the guys were always, always friendly with you. I mean, in the group where, where groups didn't break up, there was, there was always some some connection that, that that everyone was everyone was close with you. Well, I think with the music business, I think people, you know, once they get to know each other, it's, it, it's close. I mean, I have a favorite story that I tell all the time about the the times when. I moved into a new house. The times on the second day of my move, they were all in front of my house. They got out of the car and they painted all my rooms. Mm. Ah, room wow. myself. Mm. What do you think of that, Chacho? Wow. Do, do you like painting your room? No. <laughs> <laughs> I used to paint my mother's four rooms. Where, where was that? Where was on that? Mulberry on Street. Mulberry Street. Yeah. Mm. And John, you spent a lot of time in, in Cha Cha's Cafe over there. Absolutely, it's great. He's, like he's got the great cannolis, the best <laughs> gelato, the best, yeah. and his wife's cheese shop down the down the street. Karen's Number one tiramisu in the world. Oh, yeah, boy. and I have a levadari. You do, Karen does, right? She's got the oldest cheese shop in America. Wow! Everyone should know the name of that. But she address. doesn't come to work anymore. No, I'm, I'm. That's. I'm putting my show together. Putting the show. She's putting her show. She together. hired me. <laughs> I bought a levadari on uh, Mulberry and Grand, and oh. now I'm working with my conductor for the past six months. We're putting a great show together, so I'm going out to do music. What I'm supposed to be doing, and I put Chacha in charge of 11 years. That show comes up. <laughs> <laughs> that show comes up. You don't want to make mozzarella anymore. <laughs> <laughs> broadcast live when, you, when, you, when that show comes up. Can we broadcast it live? Uh, yeah, you'll know about it. Hope Joey Reynolds can be there for that. <laughs> oh, on Friday night. Yeah, I'm going to Florida tomorrow. So I'm my sister-in-law, so I'll see Joey, and we'll call in on Friday and tell our stories. Uh, Joe Franklin. That's yes. Terrific. Uh, so anyway, uh, back to John Salvato for a moment. Please let her know. Is there anything that we should know about? I think Please you should know, know that this is Joe's favorite song, Jim. and Jim's favorite song, and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna put this up right here at WPAT. This is for Jim. We'll get you on the Y and Wife and Thursday morning. Thursday and Friday, yeah. Right. Okay. I'll talk. That's me. That's me. Take care. Take care. Take care. Cha cha. Bye bye. Stay safe. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's love with my mind right now? Yeah. Making a little bit of a hit. No, yes, that's their own. I'm so tired.
And where's it going to go? And he's got to go and raise the money. Here we are, yes, right here, WPAT New York City. Uh, back here live with John Salvato. Anything else you'd like to share with uh, Jim's, uh, the song that Jim Petreca loves, loves so much? The next number that you're going to play, Teddy, is, is a song that was originally recorded by Ferranti and Tasha, and uh, I think at that particular time it went to number one on the charts. It was immediate. It was an immediate hit. Our producers heard it and thought that we should sing and have the, vo the uh, vocal arrangement should come out of it, and we recorded the Exodus song. What, what do you think made it such a top a, a top at this particular song? What, what, what about this particular song was was really different? than some of the other songs, in, I mean, in your opinion? Well, I think that um, for the Duprees and recording a musical at, at that particular time or a, a motion picture thing was something that uh, not many groups or many artists uh, actually went into the studio to record. And it was something different as far as the Duprees and the, the vocal groups of that particular time. Well, here it is, Exodus here, WPAT. The Jews are all going to come out tonight. Uh -huh. All the Jews are going to come out tonight. Oh, You're yeah, going to wake that. them up tonight. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Woo, boy. That was part of that. <laughs> Pat, Pat, what do you say? He wrote the song. Pat Boomer? 